it's touching. Have you touched UK with that yet? Or um, punch UK, kick, yeah. Or cut UK, punching, cut UK, yeah, punching Thank UK. Cut UK, yeah, bang, yeah. Thank wash UK, there, punch, wash UK, right? Okay. Okay. So even with that punch, wash UK, from the inside or on the back foot, yeah, wash UK, say. Round, yeah. So this way, that way, doesn't matter, it all work, doesn't it? Okay. But see, all of that is. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's the universal law. So you know how we're just talking to some people about um, anything, when you start to sort of really workshop this, anything is effective if it works. Okay. But there are some universal laws, you know, universal foundations that we've got to be aware of, such as our stance, you know, our distance, timing obviously is important, okay, balance, coordination, that's all important. Elbows, you know, arms being in the right position, being in a position where you're minimizing what the other person can do. Hey, Otherwise, hey. when you're workshopping, you're forever saying everything I do, you'll always have a counter. Hey, I've got to try and get over that now. And if that technique's bad, you'll have a counter. You've got to do it again. Make sense? Hey, hey. Where you try to kind of get to a stalemate. Okay, boom, 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 checkmate, bang, you're down. Right? Make hey. sense? Hey. That's what you're working towards, yeah? Hey. Alright, just quickly to finish off for, the, uh, for this morning session, we're going to work on Simple block, block up. Right, again, this is working on this here, thing here. This can be block, sort of parrying, or blocking, this could be washi, could be parking, it doesn't matter, but you can. It's all the same thing. Right? Okay. Okay. But the main thing is, is that we don't overdo it. Okay. You're not going around as much this way as you're trying to, okay, in this direction. See that? Okay. As it's coming out, I'm feeding him in. As it's punching, I'm feeding him in. Okay. See that? Okay. Right? So it's from there. There. So that, that's a miss, like I said before, whether it misses by 5 centimeters or 15, a miss is a miss, yeah? Right. Right. The idea is just to get to that point, from there to that point. It doesn't matter whether my hand is facing this way, that way or that way, it doesn't hey. matter. What matters is this, hey. my arm and my elbow, and it's all straight in front of me. Hey. Right out there. Hey. Right. Make sense? Hey. Like this. Now, I'm inviting him to, to go again. Hey. Kick all that. Sense? Okay. And I want to be able to block and counter. And the counter we're using now, which is a little unorthodox, but it's kicking to the back leg. Okay. Right. We'd rather aim to the back leg than the groin. Okay. Well, that's what all the guys tell us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just showing again that the kick, the, the, the Zen Kutsu, the Zen Kutsu which we use, all right? I mean, the front kick that we use, okay? Hey, Gary. We, we always aim for here in Kata and everything, right? Hey. It could be anywhere, right? King Gary, go underneath, you can kick to the front leg, yeah? Hey. Kick the back leg, hey. make sense? Hey. Hey. It's all the same thing, isn't it? Hey. Hey. When we start doing application of one pipe, you know, you say, well, from here, it's a bit hard to kick here. Well, then, you don't kick there anyway. What's hey. the most effective thing? Where is the most effective thing to kick? Groin. Groin. That's number one, isn't it? Hey. Hey. And then there'd be something like what? Maybe the knee. Hey. Exactly, yes? Whatever's going to work the best, the most effective and efficient, okay? So that's effective and efficient, okay? That there, taking that out, I mean, we don't practice this obviously, but if you ever had to take someone's back leg out, you watch them fall very fast, okay? And, and, and it'll hurt, alright? I'm just guessing by the way. <laughs> No, that's, I'm just guessing it would hurt. I've never done it because I'm, you know, very much a passive person. <laughs> <laughs> outside the game. <laughs> okay, so watch this. From here, just focusing on just that. Okay? So as it comes in, off to the side and kick. Okay. And from there, off and kick. Yeah? This way. Boom. This way. Make sense? Okay. 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 Just be aware of where you kick. Careful, please. Yeah? Just, I want to see you just getting the rhythm of it, just nice and smooth. Not, yeah? Smooth. From here, punch comes in, this way. Coming fast with punch. This way. Again, right at me. That's it. Boom, right at me. This way, okay. Right in the face. Okay. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> Early on 
today and yesterday in the class. None of this two big movements. This is why. Because when it counts, you haven't got time to move around. You haven't got time to muck around with all the movement. All the extra stuff won't help. When someone's coming at you at 100 miles an hour. At right at your face, you've got to be here. So that, that's getting close now. Okay? There. Right. Hey, 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 hey. So just a little power. And then I'm not using any power. I'm just using technique. Hey. The power is in the technique. Hey. Hey. Make sense? Hey. All right, hey. let's go. Hey. 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 Thank you. 